video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. I hope you guys like short videos because I'm not going to be like those other YouTubers that try to make a 20 minute video going over a new iOS version that has literally almost nothing in it. iOS 16.3 just dropped today. I've been running the RC build right here, as you guys can see, developer beta. Um, the RC is basically the same as the release. Uh, and there's only four new updates and they're all tiny. So I'm going to talk about them right now. The first one is there are new security keys, which are physical YubiKey support for your Apple ID. You have to have two of them. Uh, so most people are not going to do this, but if you want that added layer of security, you can now do that. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this probably doesn't pertain to you, but you might want to look into it. The next thing is a new wallpaper for Black Unity, so that is included. Yes, people are considering that a feature of this update because there's such a small amount of changes here. Next up, there's second generation HomePod support. So the new HomePod just got released. If you want to be able to use it, you're going to have to get iOS 16.3 on your phone. And lastly, this is probably the biggest feature of them all. Do you remember advanced data protection for iCloud? We did a video on it before. Basically encrypts all your data uh, in iCloud or almost all of it. That was only pretty much for the US. Now it's going to be worldwide. So when you get iOS 16.3, when this drops, that should also be worldwide. So you're going to want to update, especially if you want to take advantage of that, which I do recommend. If you put photos in iCloud and iMessages in iCloud, you're going to want to have that full encryption on there. It also encrypts your reminders and stuff like that. That is something I do recommend. So that's cool. That's probably the one big cool feature of iOS 16.3 is that it's now worldwide. If you're in another country, you can now take advantage of that cool feature from Apple. Now there were a couple bug fixes. I'll put that up on the screen right here uh, if you guys want to read the full release notes. But realistically, this is a tiny update. It's not going to affect performance or battery life very much. If you had issues with iOS 16.2 battery life, this could fix those issues though, because there are some bug fixes. But overall, if you had good battery life in 16.2, you're probably going to have almost the exact same battery life in 16.3. Performance has been the same for me. There are a couple bugs and glitches here and there, but they're all minor, so they're not worth talking about. Uh, overall, it's a good update. Should you update? Yes, you should. End of story. This is not a 20 minute video like the other YouTubers. They're just trying to make money off you and add more ads into their video. So that's all I got for this one, guys. If you like short and sweet videos with this information, go ahead, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. Totally free to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.